Hey everybody, welcome back. This is your second tutorial for the beginning of June. And uh, this one is also dotted and has the circular shape uh, that I did on the previous one that I uploaded this morning, or sorry, this afternoon. So you will see some similarities in this first part here where I do two circles. Uh, one is a little bit bigger than the other one. And then we paint it in black on the inside and we are going to use that as a frame to put our anchor on. Today I'm doing an anchor. Um, someone sent me a beautiful message about their love story and how anchors mean so much to them. And they found their true love and it just really made me, um, it made me want to look up anchors and tattoos of anchors. So I got my inspiration for this stone from uh, some tattoos that I saw on Pinterest. Uh, anchors symbolize strength and stability. Um, something or someone who holds you in place and provides you the strength to hold on to no matter how rough things get. So anchors have a really beautiful meaning to them. I looked that up as well on uh, Google and Pinterest and I knew it had a very beautiful meaning. It had to, especially after I saw the tattoos on Pinterest. Um, now, today's anchor is going to be gold, but we are going to dot the anchor and leave the background black with a glitter over top of it. Um, you can use hologram 2796 for your glitter if you don't have a nail shell powder or eyeshadow but I'm just gonna do the background glittery because that's what I wanna do today. We're not gonna dot the whole thing, just the anchor. I'm also gonna add some flowers that we're going to paint in. Um, they are not going to be dotted. You will see. And once again, don't uh, get discouraged if you can't draw an anchor very well. Take a look on Google, uh, Pinterest, um, and give it a try. Draw it out on pencil, on paper with a pencil, sorry, uh, first a couple of times. And then when you get it right, I try to draw a line down the center of my rock so that I know where the middle of the anchor has to be. Um, and then I work from that line. And you can erase the line when you're done. So I have drawn an anchor, very simple. Um, you can see it better once I've got it filled in with gold here. The pencil's hard to see. Just a, you know, general idea. It looks a little bit like an anchor. <laughs> and I will clean up all the pencil and all the lines that I didn't like. And I'm going to thin out some of the thick lines in gold. I'm just going to take black paint to it and fix everything up right now in front of you. Look at my sparkling nails. Sparkling, spark. See, I like everything sparkly. <laughs> my nails don't stay pretty for very long because I get in such a mess with my paint, but that's why I do it myself. I don't get my nails done anywhere. I've always done them myself. So I can do whatever I want to them when I'm not painting rocks. <laughs> How many of you like to paint your nails too? I started off just being obsessed with painting my nails and doing artwork on nails and I used to sing that that was my creative side up until about six or seven years ago I was a singer well not professional but I love to sing love to write my own songs and I kind of stopped stopped teaching myself how to play guitar like once I started painting rocks but I plan on getting back into that and having a little studio of my own well to share with my oldest son who is almost 15. He's very musically inclined and very artsy as well. He can draw better than anyone I know. So he's uh, got a bit of artistic blood as well, thankfully. So I will share my studio with him only. I have to be uh, nice to him. <laughs> I will share. So I am just, I started dotting and then I thought, you know what, we're going to put some flowers on here. So I'm going to just draw the flowers on, 
fill the flowers in with black paint to make sure I've got all the gold out that I don't want there, like the anchor and stuff. I don't want the line going through my petals. So I'm just making sure that those flowers are ready to be painted after I've dotted the anchor. So I started with a pewter gray at the bottom. And so that's my darkest gray that I have in my collection of paints. And you can make it darker than that if you want to, but I didn't want to make it too dark because the background is already dark. So I am going to use my pewter gray and just keep adding a touch of white paint to it to lighten it up so that it gradually goes from dark pewter gray up to white when we get to the top of the anchor. And then when you kind of stand back and look at it, it looks kind of like it's shiny because the color changes like that. Or maybe that's just my imagination. <laughs> if you make your dots small enough, you can see the gradual change um, really nicely. But I'm not worried about the size of my dots. I'm just filling in the space and I'm just making sure they look like dots. They're not just big blobs of mess everywhere. I'm making sure to keep them in a dot shape. See how the change is gradually turning to white up at the top? And that's just because I kept adding white to my pewter gray. I do that a lot with my ombre or the gradual color change that you see here. Now for my flowers, I'm going to use a nice deep magenta pink so they really pop off that gray. I've always loved gray and pink as a color combination, so I had to put it in here. Same with uh, pink and teal, which is the teal is going to go in the center of the flowers. You can use whatever color flower you want. You can do like uh, poppies and do red flowers. Um, you could do yellow, bright colored flowers. You don't have to do uh, it just like mine. You get to be your own boss of your own rock. So there. And now I'm just adding just simple like little leaves like with dots. So I guess I, I lied. I said we were dotting uh, just the anchor, but we're not. We're dotting our leaves too. <laughs> Now, as you can see, I have a nice black background behind my anchor. You can leave it like that if you want. I've also left my um, framework with the natural color stone behind it and gold lines. So just like I do all my other framework, only I didn't paint the background. I kept it the natural color of the stone. It's going to look really dark once I've sealed it but hopefully you can still see the natural stone. Now, like a lot of my stones, I'm gonna do a little bit of dot work to fancy up the outer part of the frame. And I'm using just the same colors that I used in the stone itself. Like so far, we've used this nice teal color, um, magenta, gray. We're gonna be putting all of that and some white and a little bit of light gray too. So I'm starting with the blue big dots, then I'm walking white dots around those blue dots. If you like it like that, leave it there. You can just seal it. Let it dry and seal it. Um, I'm adding a light gray around the white, so I just walk them around just like I did with the white ones. It's hard to see on this color stone, of course, but once it's sealed, you'll be able to see it better. In between those dots, I'm adding magenta. Got to make sure I incorporate all these colors. I'm going to put hologram on top of the teal now that it's dry um, so that the middle of those flowers are nice and sparkly. It doesn't look sparkly right now. It just looks like white. <laughs> but once it dries, it's like pretty much the same color as the teal already. and uh, But it sparkles like diamonds. Now, over top of the gray, which you can't really see very well, I did do black. So I walked black dots around the gray. And I'm letting those black dots dry because you'll see what I do with them next. Now I'm adding nail glitter. I will leave the link in the description. You can use eyeshadow. You can use hologram, like I said. But put the hologram on once you've drawn your anchor, then put your hologram on so you don't have to go like 
all in those little tiny dots and everything. But I'm using like a, a nice, it's almost like a, a greenish color sparkle. And then I'm putting little bits of gold on top of the black dots now that they're dry. I want to thank you all for subscribing. Make sure you share so that everybody can do this with us. Let's not be selfish, guys. Why not? Why not get everybody doing this with us? Get on it, people. Let's paint together. It's all beautiful and sparkling and shiny now because I did seal it with resin. I will leave my resin tutorial in the description or just hop on my whole channel and scroll through. I have over 55 uh, videos that will help with everything. I give you lots of fun techniques and tools to use to make your rocks beautiful. I love you all. Thank you all for subscribing. I was told to not repeat myself, so I'm going to apologize because I probably have repeated myself. Um, but I'm going to say sorry to that one person who had to be nitpicky. I'm sorry if I've repeated myself. Love you all. Have fun painting, guys. I'm so happy to be feeling better, and I'll be getting more out for you this month.